Okay, so now we're ready to install the, the air box. Um, first thing you'll need to do is, this is the air temperature sensor from the original manifold. Um, I've simply drilled a hole in it and I've used a little o-ring that's from a fuel injector, that o-ring. Um, and I had to put a washer under it, so um, you need to install that. And then we can install the trumpets. Now I generally like to put the air temperature sensor in this location, so it's at the bottom. Um, the front like that. So. Okay, so there we go. And that'll simply slip on and then we'll tighten up the, tighten up the clamps that hold it on. Uh, and then last of all we'll tighten these up in position. Now something we need to do is we need to put this in the airbox somewhere or the backing plate um, for our idle control valve to connect. And now I'm going to go and do a dummy fit on the bed. Okay, so I found the best place to put the fitting was just right in the bottom of the air box here and then you can see down here I found this little piece of hose from the ICV, ICV and this will plug onto the air box um, not particularly elegant but it's going to do the trick so uh, something else I discovered is I had to clock this back a little bit um, because otherwise when we put the air box on, the linkage actually was hitting the air temperature sensor. So we can pop this on now. That's easy when I've got two hands. Okay, so that's all in place. Next we can tighten it up now. We'll start by tightening these ones. Okay, so here we are. We've made a little extension for the um, MAF sensor, so now it can reach. Um, and we've put everything else in. We've uh, put a filter and uh, connected the, the MAF sensor. So the engine's completely cold. Let's uh, fire it up, see how it, uh, how it starts now that it's all ready to go. So far, it seems to be running around. So we've still got a bit of a flat spot. And then it sort of comes right.
Okay, so for our final instalment, remember last time we had a bit of a flat spot. Now I discovered that the MAF was actually faulty. So we have a new MAF. Um, I borrowed it off this little car here. Um, it's all connected. So let's turn the key and we'll see how it starts this time. Seems to be running much nicer. Yeah, we're only flat spot. Look at that, no flat spot. Running beautifully. Now the engine's still a bit cold, so the idle will be a little bit high. definitely not bad. It's actually idling near perfect. So next one we'll take it for a little drive. Perfect drivability, nice and smooth, no flat spots.